Hello and welcome to my finance teacher talking about Bitcoin today and uh, first of all if we will look at um, other cryptocurrencies um, what we see here is um, coin market cap it shows a list of um, lots of um, other cryptos the price movements and uh, some more details about the markets where these currencies cryptocurrencies are traded interesting thing here i wanted to point out is all of these red percentage changes most of them are red even as big as uh, 25 percent or more so um today is a red day for cryptos a lot of them are moving down including bitcoin <clears throat> it's down by nearly 9% today. And uh, let's uh, have a look at some more details of this cryptocurrency, the Bitcoin. So this is a daily chart of Bitcoin with this blue line. The 200-day moving average on the chart as well. What do we see? What we see is a few days ago we had this um, bottom close to 6,000 and uh, at that time rsi has actually reached oversold levels so that was a good indication that a bounce was due in bitcoin price and it did increase from 6000 to over 8000 even uh, close to 9000 uh it's only a 3000 up we've already used to very big swings in bitcoin but uh, compared to the price of 6000 compared to the bottom price here of 6000 an extra 3000 that's a 50% gain over several days unfortunately over the last couple of days bitcoin is going down it actually bounced down from this from this resistance zone of um, 9100 It bounced down from this resistance zone of 9100 and is now moving down. It's at the moment kissing this uh, 200 day moving average. And uh, it's quite important for Bitcoin to stay above this 200 day moving average if we don't want to see another precipitous decline in Bitcoin price, which might even take us below the recent low. It might take us to this next support zone, which is at, what is that level here? Close to 5,500. So this 5,500 is not out of the question. That might happen if Bitcoin dips below this 200-day uh, moving average. And uh, coming back to the oversold RSI, although it has been oversold several days ago, it was not very deeply into oversold territory. It might go much deeper into the oversold as it has done on the other side of the overbought territory a couple of months ago. So that is my look at Bitcoin. Let's see what's happened. Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. Uh, at the moment, if we break below the 200 day moving average, we are likely to see a lower low. If we break above this resistance zone at uh, 9,100, then uh, the outlook is going to be more positive for Bitcoin going up. The next resistance level is going to be over here. That is um, anywhere between uh, 9,900 and uh, 10,000. Whatever happens over the next several days, I wish you luck in your trades and uh, thank you for your attention.